welcome. I want to share a happy mail that I received and all I have done is uh, open the box. I have taken a quick peek inside. I will admit that. And uh, so it's down here on next to me and oh my 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 lace and trims to enhance any project and look look at this absolutely luscious bag oh my a Halloween goodie bag These are um, uh, a share of a stash and, oh my goodness, the woven trim with lovely double-sided satin uh, ribbon through. Isn't that just wonderful? Some double-sided some double-sided lace in a nice buff color and I believe this would also um, dye very nicely. Uh-oh, what's happening here? Oh my goodness! I don't believe... Uh. Oh my, 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 my. Double-edged reddish. Um, I think i am be showing my age, but I think I would have called this color Cerise. Oh, and so, so much of it. Oh, goodness. Oh, my, 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 my. Lace on net. I don't know what it is. I don't truly know what it is about net that... Uh, that tickles me so. This is so finely made and so lovely. And don't these look just beautiful there? And a bag of variegated thin pieces of uh, colored ribbon. Oh, I'm just loving that. And I love the colors in it. Oh. oh, velvet. I remember this ribbon. This was um, uh, a vintage ribbon that I remember when um, when it was used for uh, decoration. Uh, it was decorative, a decorative ribbon. It was not a ribbon that you usually use um, uh, to apply to garments or uh, craft projects, um, um, needlepoint or anything like that. This is just oh, it feels so nice. Certainly, don't find ribbon of this quality in the uh, craft section of any store now. Oh Lord, look at this. Oh, look at this beautiful fine netting. Oh wowzers, am I going to have fun using that in journals? There are certain things that just, uh, that just shout out at you. more wide. Oh wow, I'm just... Mm. Oh, I love the design on this one. Look at those lovely uh, leaf fronds and roses. And two-sided again. This makes the... Um, I always look toward, forward to having a uh, lace that uh, is not straight on one edge. And more beautiful, fine fine netting. This is an off-white. I wouldn't call this buff. This is definitely in the category of off-white. And some more white. Uh-oh. 
lace that uh, you can, uh, uh, it's called beading lace, that can be have um, a ribbon put through it the way this was. How nice and white so that it can become any color that I might want it to be. And a ho oh! <laughs> narrow, beautiful, narrow gold rickrack. Wow, does that bring back memories. Oh, to find, to find this when it finally came out, I think it was in the, um, in the 60s. Oh, that was doings to find that beautiful shade of uh, gilt uh, rickrack. Oh, Lordy be, look at this. More lovely, lovely lace in that such, such a pretty shade of um, yellow towards yellow green. Mm, mm, mm. And my, this is, yes, I had seen this in uh, uh, cross stitch and uh, for cross stitch and uh, needlepoint. And it is so soft and delicious. Let me show you what I'm talking about because it is so perfectly woven that um, with a very fine, maybe a silk thread or one strand of cotton, you can uh, you can do beautiful designs on this because it's uh, it's so well made and uh, perfectly woven that uh, cross stitch or um, any of the needlepoint stitches. Oh my 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 my. Wow, this one. Mm. Mm. What have we here? Oops. It's all pretty. Oh, isn't that lovely, lovely decorative, uh, decorative uh, binding. And it would take so nicely right down the center here uh, to uh, th uh, the sewing machine or hand stitching. Uh, and that would this would be perfect for what we used to call the stitch in the ditch. And I, oh my 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 my, isn't this just? Oh, isn't this just heavenly, boho heaven? Oh wow! Thank you so much. Now. I'm going to put a few of these back in the bag, but I'm going to set them aside because this box of goodies is not small. So, let me try to get these in quickly, if possible. If not, if not, they will, uh, they will have to wait for later. Okay. This was the next one in my grab bag. Pretty gold tissue. Boy, will I keep that. That's lovely. I love the particular shade. It's almost uh, what I would call, um, I would define that as bronze. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Sketch and journal. A stitched journal. Oh, Carol. Oh, this is just, just lovely. Carol, when you're out and about or on a trip, there's always something or other that we would like to remember. So this is the journal to fit the bill. Oh, and doesn't it? All these wonderful types and sorts of, uh, of Variety of paper. Oh. Yes, it does fit the bill. Isn't it pretty? To Carol Martin from Carol, made by in uh, Carol in 2017. And I love the closure. It uh, it really disappears, but it works a treat. Now, that is not going to fall open, either in my travel case or a purse. And 
another, another, and look at the lovely, look at the lovely tie. Oh, this is so very lovely. This fabric collaged on here. Travel journal. And I'm going, uh, I'm going to be traveling, Carol, so I'm going to take uh, one of these with me. Um, next weekend, we're going to the mountains in uh, North Carolina to, um, for our uh, yearly sojourn to uh, become be leaf peepers. Oh, my Lord, this is just... Tokens. That's really, that's bark. Oh, my, 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 isn't that just... Let's see here. Oh, how beautifully made this is. And look at the lovely... Oh, with the sun, and look at this is... Uh, oh, I didn't, didn't I use this paper uh, to teach uh, cursive handwriting on? And there is a very fine line. There's a, a very fine line of gold on there. And a little tiny pretty down in the corner. Oh, this is so beautiful. A map that has been coffee dyed. Each corner, each corner for page turning has that lovely little, uh, I think I shall call it a page turning brace. Another map. Oh. This is absolutely giving me chills. It is so lovely. Mm, mm, mm. Just beautiful. Ask what uh, the finish is on this um, on that map. It's just beautiful. And a lovely tuck back here. Oh, an accordion, an accordion uh, pocket. I am so going to have to learn how to do those. I know there's a trick to them. I have left this un uncolored so that you can put it in your desired colors. Oh, my, 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 my. And won't I just thank you so, so much. A, a ledger with a lovely black I'm losing my ability to speak. Isn't this just wonderful? It uh, it feels so nice. It feels almost, almost like leather. Well, oh my, 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 my. Let me put those aside right here. I can't put those too far away from me. And my wonderful piece of, uh, I used to wear, uh, ridiculed my mother a little bit for uh, saving saving pieces of tissue and her daughter is now doing the same thing in the name of junk journaling. This is canvas. I hand paint the canvas and made journals with them. I hope you will enjoy making a journal from this piece. Oh. 
I'm completely, I'm completely speechless. This is beautiful, heavyweight canvas with all of this absolutely gorgeous hand painting on it. Mm. Will I make a journal out of this? Oh, my goodness, yes, I will. I wish you had signed this, but I shall have to put a, uh, a note on the inside of it. Oh, this is just glorious. Put that here, and this here. And another little, oh, I love these little bags, goodness, oh, look at all of these goodies. Oh, I have to take a minute to breathe. That canvas and these journals, oh my, 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 my. A lovely handmade piece, a small skeleton and the big one. Oh, isn't this just lovely and it's finished on the inside with gold paint on both ends. Oh, I have just the place for this. Oh, I do. I'm going to uh, go and uh, put this in my, uh, in my naked journal that I just finished making for myself that I'm waiting for 2020 to start and this is going to have a, uh, a place of honor. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I do believe that you found the same papers. It looks almost as though they're the same papers. Uh, could be, although they might not be. But they kind of feel like the same papers that uh, I have. And uh, the beautiful effect of that, uh, of that paper makes the paint or the application look so pretty. Oh my goodness, what beautiful, heavy, heavy paper this is. Look at the design on this one. I'm looking at this very, very closely. I'm almost thinking that this is hand painted. And this beautiful, wow, don't you just love the effect of this uh, gilt washi? Or, maybe it's even uh, a different type of tape, but this is just a lovely finish. And, oh, uh, look at these beads. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, would I have fun playing with these. Three absolutely lovely colors. Thank you so much for sharing from your stash. Oh, I'm going to keep that because I want to uh, put things back. Ah, some, um, I know that uh, Andrea on uh, Artie Mays calls it Hessian. Um, isn't this wonderful? And just the, a nice width. And so well, this also is so well made that all I look at it is see, and I see stitching on there. I guess you can, a girl can stop stitching, but it doesn't last for too long because it's always in my mind. And now, oh. well, this is going to be an explosion of joy and I'm just going to let it happen. It's, ah. Oh my, 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 my. Where to begin? These are, uh, these look like handmade, handmade roses. The stitching on the back would make me think that. You must tell me, Carol, whether those are uh, handmade. And look at all of these lovely, lovely. This might very well have been a button that uh, had the back removed. Oh, isn't it delightful? And this one, that 
has an oriental vibe to it. And I was thinking of doing, in the, in the new year, I'm thinking of doing an oriental, um, an oriental journal. Very close. Won't go the other way, Carol, if you have sense. Aren't these... Aren't these just... Aren't these just made beautifully? Glass beads. Sequins. Yes, definitely handmade. I'm thinking that these are definitely and it almost feels, yes, it feels as though it's on a, a, a piece of suede. Yes, it does. And another one. Oh, yes. Could this be ultra suede? I don't think so. I don't remember ultra suede being this, this heavy. Oh, do I have questions to ask. And... Another white. I'm thinking. Oh, and look at these beautiful. Look at this selection of gorgeous beads. Oh. 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 That one? And these. And this pearl button. Heart shaped pearl. All of the, and you know it's real because it's cold. And all of the uh, modern things in the world will never ever come close to the beauty there. That's even got the uh, mother of pearl look in it. And all of those are cold. And here's another one of those beauties. <sighs> and some pretties that have beautiful colors on the facets. A rose. Oh, <laughs> oh, Lord. roses. Well, you know me and roses. Now you get over here and let me see what we have here. <sighs> well, if those aren't hand-painted pressed leaves, um, I can't imagine what else they would be. <sighs> I'm getting so excited that I'm absolutely shaking it so these things are so beautiful. Shaking in a good way, of course. Oh, look at the veins in those. Oh, oh my. The leaves came from my backyard and hand-painted. Hope you can use them. Can I use them? It would help right now if I could see because my eyes have uh, developed puddles. Aren't these just gorgeous? the stamp or please pass them along. Well, Carol, you said that you had the goodies in your stash. Oh, happy holidays. Aren't they lovely? May the miracle of Christmas live forever in your heart. 19... 98. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Carol. If I uh, do not use these, they will definitely be passed on. Because these are too lovely. Huh, a little Christmas stocking and a Christmas tree.
these were given to me over the years. Since I don't do Christmas or Halloween, I hope you can use them. Feel free to pass them on. Well, I certainly shall. All right, these little, these little ones, just wonderful. And the quality of these older ones, the quality of the, um, of the wood is so lovely. Mm, 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 mm. Well, yes, I shall be a good steward of these, and uh, when the time comes, I will definitely pass these on. of fabric can sometimes make the difference. Oh yes, don't we all that uh, do junk journaling know exactly that, that that little bit of fabric can sometimes just, just push something. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh my, this is some little piece of fabric. Isn't it beautiful? World map. World map. Thank you so much. Oh, this is a treasure. Huh. I have wanted this. I have wanted this sort of fabric and don't ever manage to find it. Well, I guess here it is. Is this just lovely? Hmm. Here. Oh. oh. I'm going to have to stop for a little bit of uh, uh, water. Excuse me. Goodness, I wish I had some idea where fabric like that can be found and the quality of it. I'm a, I've been doing, I've been feeling fabric like this since I was probably 10 years old. Oh, what lovely, lovely fabric that is. Now this, this piece is just absolutely going to give me the shakes. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Doesn't, <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't this just light up your creativity? And thank you so much. There are two of them. Oh, my fingers don't work anymore. And this beautiful magenta with uh, embossed pieces on it. Look at the color. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> beyond the beyond. Here's, here's a letter to me, and it's on uh, hand-painted paper. It almost looks as though it's, um, it's uh, clean up the paper. Oh, I shall take time and read this. And this big one. more hand-painted paper. This is, a, this is a heavy one. Carol. 
this is just Must look, I've gotten, I'm sorry that I've gone quiet. These are handmade butterflies hiding in this uh, trifold paper. This looks like it might have been uh, invitation paper. These are made with glossy photo paper, acrylic paint, and inks. Sharpie pens also work well. Permanent. Once. Permanent, once done. Well, I had no idea. I had so no idea. I know there's one hiding back there. Yes, there it is. Aren't these beautiful? Made with glossy photo paper. Well, that I know. Acrylic paint and inks. Sharpie pens. Glossy photo paper. Oh, she sent me a supply, you sweet lady. Oh, my, my, my. Oh, I have, I have had been quietly wishing <laughs> for this buff color, and here it is in my hand and quite a few sheets, because I thought, wouldn't this work nicely with a little bit of uh, distressing on it to bring out the, uh, the high bits. Oh, thank you, Carol. These are from my jelly plate. No two are alike. The thinner pieces are painted on deli paper. Carol told me that she was a painter. And it is so, so sweetly obvious. Oh. So that's what good deli printing is supposed to look like. Thank you, Carol. It was never something that I, uh, oh, on deli paper. How lovely is that? See, the acrylic makes a skin. And it's, uh, you can feel the layers of, of uh, color. This is so, so beautiful. As I said, I kind of tucked away my jelly plate because uh, I knew this is what it could look like, but I had no idea, nor the patience. Uh, can you see? Can you see? Ribs almost looks like veins and leaves. love these, um, I love the ones on deli. I, it feels so nice. This is on, um, this is not deli paper. I don't think, maybe it is. It could be. Just a different. No, probably the same. Now how, how does the modeling happen and how does this gilding gilding happen in these perfect spots? Oh, I love it. This puts me in mind, in mind of uh, handmade paper. Now we see what uh, is possible to produce from our uh, our jellies. And these are deli printed 
monoprints, hand painted, stamped, glue with Tracy Bautista uh, collo uh, collage podge. I use them to make pamphlets, books, and booklets. Oh. Oh. Look at the dimension here. Wouldn't this make a beautiful cover for a small a small journal? Carol, it is beyond my capability to thank you. You said you did painting. Yes, yes, yes. Another little drink, please. Mm. And here. This is Frederick's pre-primed artist canvas. Pre-primed, yay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Carol. Heavy weight. Oh, beautiful pre-primed canvas. Oh, that's the unprimed side. Oh, why my, am I going to play? I cannot believe what I'm ha what I have in my hand, Carol, because what I found just the day before yesterday. of mine on, uh, that I did on uh, February 18th on two on a canvas uh, pad paper, thin. Not this beautiful quality, or the weight of course, but I thought I must do this, but I must not keep continuing to do it on craft paper. I need oh, to get back to playing on on canvas, real beautiful canvas that I don't have to uh, that I don't have to think about priming myself, lazy girl that I am. Oh goodness, thank you. And it is rolled this way to keep the uh, primed part from being damaged. That on because it's very light and it will not make any grooves. This is uh, I treat this the same way I would treat my needlepoint canvas because if you put anything tight on it, it's there forever and no getting it out. In fact, no. Let me try just a loose. Let me see, will that work? It's very loose. Yes. Okay. And this came in the mail without being uh, mutilated. Isn't that wonderful? Well, I cannot begin even vaguely to express my joy. And I am going to use these wonderful gifts. I'm going to use these wonderful gifts with such joy in my heart. And I've decided, while I was sitting here, I decided that I am going to, I have a, a bin that's unused, and I am going to very carefully keep all of these things from you in a, in a, a special bin. Because I found that when um, these, uh, when you receive things like this, they can sometimes, if you put, in other words, if you put this, the fabrics, and you put the uh, jelly prints in um, folders or places that you already have set aside, sometimes they fall, they they're out of sight, out of mind a little bit, and they kind of fall to the bottom when you lay things on top. This way, I'm going to. Um, 
I can't stop looking at this. I'm going to keep these things all together except for these two babies. They are going with my, uh, with my goodness, I'm shaking. They are uh, going to go uh, with my collection. And this one, no, this one, this one is going uh, up to the mountains with me. Uh, next week, I'm going to uh, I'm going to hoard this one a little bit for a while. I just have to. Oh, well, I do hope you have enjoyed this happy mail experience. And uh, if you have, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, take a moment to think about generosity, the nature of Happy Meal. It is quite fantastic that Happy Meal can make the recipient, myself, so full of joy. Our art does it, but things like this, gifted from the heart, well, I'm not going to say any more because I don't think I can. I'll be seeing you soon. Bye now.